And the engineer on this new album was a man who would go on to have an illustrious production career of his own, working with Bebop Deluxe, The Fall, The Stone Roses, Dr. John, Radiohead and The Coral. John Lecky. I actually first met the Pink Floyd when I worked on the Sid Barrett session as a tape op, which was the second Sid Barrett album in 1970. And Roger and David were producing that with Rick Wright playing keyboards on Sid's record. So we kind of got to know each other. I was a familiar face there. And uh, when it came to starting the metal album, which was 1971, I was the tape operator with Peter Bowne Engineering and I then went on to Air Studios which had 16 track and continued engineering for them. We started off at Abbey Road on 8 track but very quickly of course the 8 tracks were filled up and the only other studio in London at the time that had 16 track was Air Studios which was George Martin's studio at Oxford Circus. And so we took the 8-track tapes to Air Studios, copied them to the 16-track, which gave us another 8 tracks to fill up, and um, carried on recording. And because it was a new studio, Peter didn't quite know how it all worked, and I was young and enthusiastic and said, hey, Pete, you know, you can do this if we plug this in here, and this is how to do it. And so he said, oh, you're, you know how this works. I, I'm going back to Abbey Road, you stay here. So I ended up with about three weeks engineering Pink Floyd at Air Studios, a new studio and uh, with 16 tracks to work with, and I guess I did all the recording on that record. Sessions for the Medal album began at Abbey Road on January the 4th, 1971. The band considered various options for the construction of the LP. These included the idea of producing a record that didn't use any conventional instruments. So they began experimenting with sounds created by rubber bands, lengths of sticky tape, various kitchen utensils and aerosol cans. There was no doubt to their engineer that this was a band that was constantly exploring and looking for fresh ideas. Here's John Leckie with Pink Floyd you would use any technique possible to create a new sound. They were always searching for something different, something new, something that hadn't been heard before and this might involve uh, singing through a Leslie speaker or putting the microphone on the floor in the corner that would create a strange resonance. Um, the Floyd came in with um, a collection of ideas actually, little snippets of music, uh, little riffs and drum beats and things and they were all called Nothing and I think it came about because I said oh what's this song called and Nick Mason said oh call it Nothing so on the tape box you'll see Nothing number one, Nothing number two. 